how different are the shopping list of your father and your mother? How your shopping list is different from your partner's list? Have you ever thought about this? Man's list. Meat, milk, sausages, bread, beer. Solid, yet basic. Woman's list. Milk, mince, flour, vegetables, chocolate, washing powder, and a pile of many seemingly not important things. Their shopping list reflects a value created for everyone, for everyone's likings, taste, and really personal care. Think. A man is always about building a house. A woman is about making it a home. A house should be flourished by a woman to become a home where everyone feels loved and cared for. We all want to be back home not because of the walls, but because of the, its warmth and comfort created by a mother of a house to whom we refer throughout our lives. The same in leadership. What allows women to make leadership flourish? I looked at women leaders from a vision creation viewpoint. Vision does not have gender. Yet a woman's vision differs from a man's vision. Men are about solving great problems and greatest needs. Women are about making this world beautiful and harmonized. What's a man's list of business priorities? Platform, capitalization, gross. What's a woman's business priorities? Heartful value, care for the future. Everyone feeling being a family member, flourishing at every stage and every moment. Women have six traits brilliant traits that are very critical for vision creation and execution that allows them to create something incredible and so valuable for others. Think, the key to creation of a strong and compelling vision is a diminished ego. Vision is sacrificing oneself for others. This is a great gesture of giving, which is based on empathy and care for others. In this sense, the ego kills vision instantly. Think for a moment. You hardly hear about women's ego, and we mainly attribute ego to men. Women keep ego on a short leash for the sake of others, children, husband, parents, friends. They feel the pain of others. Women have ambitions that drive them forward, but far less ego than men that allows them to create value for others. Learning. Vision is about creating a new reality that demands constant learning. Women learn and relearn new things when they get married, when giving a birth to a child, when moving into a new house, or even when they're gossiping with friends. Women constantly learn from each other. They learn all the time without even paying attention to this fact. I looked at the statistics of one of the most advanced vision leadership courses and found that 47% of participants are women. Women challenge themselves and prepare to learn far beyond the limits prescribed by society. Courage. Life is not a place we live, but a path we take, and taking a new path is about having a courage. Women are very good at stepping into an unknown and thinking differently. They have the courage to stay their grounds, and they have the courage to imagine new reality. Women are great at setting out to create something with very little to no resources, which is an act of great courage and faith itself. The will to win stands on courage. Women have enough courage to be successful and make others successful. Think of about intuition. Vision is a creation of the future that talks to us now. It sends vibes to the minds and souls of those who are tuned 
to the right frequency and prepared to translate their signals to others. Intuition is rooted into our perception of the world and attaches our souls and unconscious minds to the universe. This is where women leaders, visionaries, are particularly strong. Women see aesthetics. One of the best lessons I learned from my mother is to believe in people's strengths and forgive people's weaknesses. I can see this con consistency. Oh, I could see this consistency of this trait in women leaders across the globe. Women are exceptional in supporting the strengths of others and simply saying openly that they admire something in others rather than men who are often concerned about exercising or in fact defending their own power positions. Women are naturally good at lifting others and revealing the beauty in others. They are great at empowering, at empowering others. By the way, seeing a beauty in people means seeing a beauty in the world and women are very good at this. What is very important that they are always present. Yes, I learned a very important thing through my life. Never deal with exceptionally busy people or people who are pretending to be very busy. They don't have time to listen to you. They don't have time for you or time to take care of your needs. They're simply not present. Their hearts and minds are closed for others. Women are present, always present. Even if they're very busy, they will find time for you with an open heart and minds. In fact, no business can thrive without qualities that women leaders can offer. Women make leadership flourish. This is about being blessed, having women leaders that add value to everything that we do together and making this world a better place. Thank you.